Reading, I've chosen two poems by Robert Frost to read, and then I'm going to read a short poem of my own. Let's begin with fire and ice, shall we? Some say the world will end in fire, some say in ice. From what I've tasted of desire, I hold with those who favor fire. But if it had to perish twice, I think I know enough of hate to say that for destruction, ice is also great and would suffice. Thank you. And this one is also on a wintry theme. It's called Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening. Whose woods these are, I think I know. His house is in the village, though. He will not see me stopping here to watch his woods fill up with snow. My little horse must think it weird to stop without a farmhouse near. Between the woods and frozen lake, the darkest evening of the year. He gives his harness bells a shake to ask if there is some mistake. The only other sound is the sweep of easy wind and downy flake. The woods are lovely, dark and deep, but I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep and miles to go before I sleep. Finally, as a, uh, I have one small poem I suspect some of you have heard before, but I'm going to read it again. Rodeo or divinest sense. Rodeo, O oh rodeo, wherefore art thou, rodeo? <laughs> the goddess is slaying the bison again, and Medusa is only a parent in a shield. Donnie has been flipped from his bull, lying in the mud, he calls for the clouds, the bees. The bees will save us. Knights of the order of Hymenoptera, they will fly like descending doves. That's it.